Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a cool alcohol stove called the Atomizer. It's a high heat output, high efficiency alcohol stove that I made for camping and such. So, show you how to build it. You're going to need two pop cans. I just have two orange aid cans because I like it. You're going to need a 20 and a 30 millimeter piece of wood. Then you're going to need a standard utility knife blade. You're also going to need vice grips with a pin, like a sewing needle pin, a bolt for the filler hole, and then a drill bit for the bolt. And you're also going to need a drill, some JB Weld, and I think that's it. Let's get started. Okay, take one of your cans and your 20 millimeter piece of wood and just set the utility knife blade on it. Then you're going to score a line around the can like this. Let's zoom in on that. You can see better. And you just rotate it like that a couple times around the can so you think it's good then you take the blade and you stick it in the score line like that and you should be able to just peel the rest of the can away And there you go, you get your 20 millimeter bottom section to the stove. Set that aside. And then you're going to take your other can and your 30 millimeter piece of wood and do the same thing. Okay, and then you stick the blade into the score line again, like that, and then peel it. There you go. Okay, so by now you should have your two halves, the 30 millimeter piece and the 20 millimeter piece. You probably won't be able to get them together at this point, but that's okay because we don't need them together yet. Okay, for this next step, you're going to need the 32 uh, jet template from zenstoves.com and some just scotch tape. Tape this to the bottom center of the 30 millimeter piece. Make sure to get it centered. There, got that taped on. Now you're going to take your vice grip with the needle in it, and where these lines are you're gonna punch holes about halfway in between this area here like this I'll do another one. so you're gonna punch holes like that around it now I've got to get a new needle okay I've got all 36 jets punched. Now we need to mark the center hole. So get like an awl or something sharp. Carefully punch through until you hit the can and then just make it uh, make a dent in it. You can see kind of where it went through. So I've got the template off and I made the I punched that hole so we can start it with the drill bit, which is what we're going to do next. You're going to need your drill bit for the bolt and the drill. Then you're going to slowly and carefully drill this center hole out. Like that. And then your bolt will screw into that hole. 
it might be a tight fit which is good for now you might need whatever kind of wrench you need to put your bolt in to get it started but you want a good seal for this so you want it kind of as tight as possible so there we go got your filler hole drilled you're going to take an unopened can and get the bottom of either a dud stove like I did here or um another can and put it on the bottom of an unopened can and you're going to take your 20 millimeter piece and the I call it a dilator tool and you're going to push the two together like this to stretch this one out you don't want to let any air out though otherwise it'll get stuck on it so and take it off test fit the two 30 millimeter goes inside the 20 millimeter. Okay, it doesn't fit yet, so I'll ha you have to keep doing it till it fits. Okay, I've got it so that the two halves fit together. Now you want to take them back apart. And then you're going to mix up your JB weld and smear it around the inside of the 20 millimeter piece. And you'll just take the two, carefully put them together, get them you go back together and you want, might want to twist it a little bit just to smear the JB weld around and then you're going to squeeze them together like that. It's nice and tight. <clears throat> then you just wait for the JB weld to cure and then you fire it up. And then after that you can take some sandpaper and sand this paint off and then polish it with steel wool to make it shiny like that. There you go. That's how to make the atomizer.